Hello there guys and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. My name is Els and this is going to be the third Redstone tutorial on the Castle Crafters channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at a really special type of input. And you won't see any any of these um, certain types of buds on the Xbox as of yet because this is the first one of its kind. And uh, yeah, as you can see the wiring is fairly compact. It's got quite a lot of funky logic in it, and uh, it works very quickly. So, let me show you what happens. As you can see, we've got a flush wall with a lamp turned on in the middle. Now, this wall can be expanded so that no redstone is showing whatsoever, so it's completely seamless. But as you can see, you can update this with any block. So, I'm going to use even a regular torch, put a block in it, and as you can see, it's going to activate just like a normal bud. But what's special about this one is that as well as being completely seamless, on retraction of the lamp, it remains constantly powered throughout the entire mechanism. And yeah, this is the first of its kind on Xbox, so I thought I'd bring it to you guys. So uh, yeah, let's get on to the tutorial. So you're just going to start off with your wall with a lamp in the middle. You want to come on the back, come back three, and chuck in a sticky piston. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're going to need a blob of redstone here to both power this block, to power the lamp when it's in the wall, and to power it when it's in this stage here. You want to build up a couple of blocks like this, chuck in a lever here and power it for now, you should now see that this turns on. Bring out a repeater from the back on three ticks of delay, which is going to go up and around into this redstone. Bring this out into three more blocks, sticky piston, you can take that out, with then a detector rail. Now, if you update the piston, you can see that this is a bud in itself. But if you update this any further, then it's not going to do anything. So, to reset this, we're going to put redstone, then take it away, and as you can see, it'll fix itself. Now, if I update this once more, as you can see, this redirected redstone is powering this lamp. Now, because lamps are a solid block, it will also go into this lamp. Okay, and we're also going to have a piston under here. Now, what makes this pretty special is that uh, this contains a bud chain, and that is that uh, this piston here is getting budded, um, and this redstone is powering this lamp, solid block, just diagonally powering this piston, which has been updated by this lamp. So we've got one or two buds actually, just with pistons, and we've got another repeater bud right here. So there's a lot of buds going on. So just underneath this piston, we're going to have a block with a torch on it. Bring this out into a blob of redstone. Then just bring this over into two blocks. Repeat your own vortex. Redstone dust. This will update this piston. And it'll turn this off. Then you need a torch underneath here. Put in a block. And a repeater on one tick. You'll see that it clocks quite a lot. But then it fixes itself. And now it is completely functional, as you can see. This build is absolutely fantastic, and as I said, first of its kind, pretty much, being a constantly powered lamp. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, <laughs> it's the first time I've attempted a lamp of this sort, and uh, it came out pretty well, actually. Compacted it down relatively uh, quite a lot to what it was. So, um, as I said, I hope you enjoyed it, but uh, that's pretty much it for today now. The next video that you see on this channel from me will most likely be a note block song video, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for this video now guys, so if you've enjoyed it, please do give it a like. But apart from that, I've got nothing else to say. So, this has been Els, thanks for watching, and cheers!